How you doing? Welcome to Cooking While Drunk. I'm Tony. You're a favorite drunk. Chugging on some 805. This is my uh, Stein that I drink out of from Spaten. I, when I worked at uh, the bar, they gave it to me. Actually, they gave me a whole. I have a whole collection. This is the 32 ounce. I have a 16 ounce, and I believe the other one holds uh, 60 ounces of beer. Yeah, I never have to get it for a refill. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna cook up some gourds. One of the things about, you know, Halloween and the fall is a variety of pumpkins, gourds, and squash that you can get. So here, we have the snake gourd. Actually, what I did was uh, for Halloween, I had the wife and kid paint eyes and a mouth on it, and I put it on the railing in front of our house and so it sat like this into the pathway. Next up we have just typical white acorn squash, mini yellow pumpkin. This is called a blue Hubbard. Um, I have a piece of paper to tell me what it is because I keep forgetting. I've never seen one of these. I've never cooked one of these so um, that'll be a different video. We also have something I do love to cook spaghetti squash yes we have different designs so see there's my self portrait right there um, Annika decorated these and she put stickers on so we peeled them off before we cook them we will remove some of the ink and uh, it's washable ink and of course we have your traditional pumpkin this here is called a turban squash kind of looks like the turban you know uh, this is what we're gonna cook up today so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Cut it open, scoop out the seeds, and we're gonna roast in the oven for about an hour. So, I've already, um, before you cook with any of the gourds, I always suggest giving a good rinse in water and wipe it off with a towel just to get any of the excess dirt or loose debris that may be on it. So, and I've never done this before, so bear with me. Here we go. Now you see how that, now it's just soft, see? So, a second rotation. So as I'm doing it, I'm using the heel of the knife in first and then the top and see how now it just split right through. So, there we go, look at that. Now, I've seen recipes where these seeds can be roasted um, like pumpkin seeds. I do not know. So now we're gonna get a spoon and we're gonna scoop all this out. All right, so now we got the pumpkin gathered. So what we're gonna do now is just going to, now I'm not really following a recipe. Most people say just to salt it and then cook it, but I'm gonna treat this like I do all my other squashes. A Little bit of oil. I'm gonna get my hand in there. I'm gonna spread it around a little bit. And then I'm going to Use my lovely electric grinder. This is just uh, salt. It's actually a salt blend, so it's got salt and um, uh, what, do you call it? what salt is this? I forgot. Um, truffle. It's, it's supposed to be a truffle salt, but not real truffle. It's probably the cheapy truffle stuff. So onto a pan. So I have the oven preheated already to 375. I chose a little bit of oil here. Now I'm just going to put this cut side down. Now put this in the oven. It's gonna roast for about an hour. I'm going to check it. Every 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna rotate the pan a quarter turn. And I'm gonna to touch the outside to see if it's getting soft because I want it to be soft yet firm. I don't want it to be enough where I can poke my finger through it because I want to keep this as a shell because we're going to stuff it and then we're going to bake it again. All right, we'll see you in about an hour. I took it out. I let it rest for about 15 minutes. It wasn't quite soft on the outside, so I left it just like this on top of the stove for about 10 to 15 minutes while I went ahead and prepped our vegetables. So now we're going to take it Wow, it's still hot. Oh yeah, it's still hot. And we're just gonna kind of 
scoop everything out. So we're gonna scoop this out, dump it into the bowl, and we're gonna continue from there. We're gonna saute some aromatics, so a bit of oil. And because I had it on high to heat it up, turn it down. So once the oil starts to shimmer a little bit, dump in your vegetables. So this is about um, one half of a small onion, finely minced, and one stalk of celery. You guys know how to saute, and you know you season every layer. So then you go up like this, you do the Mario Batali. You don't have to, it just makes a mess, but I like to do it sometimes. Do the pan of tots. Throw in some uh, the broccoli. I didn't give her that much, that's okay. Normally, I would put in some um, mushrooms, but you know, some people are just mushroom haters, like my sister, my wife. They say they don't like mushrooms, but I bet you if I sneak it into a dish, they won't know at all. All right. So we're gonna cook this down for about three to five minutes, and then I'm going to um, add a beaten egg. But we'll get that to in a second. So once this cooks down, we'll be right back. I'm gonna take care of the mash. I'm just gonna mash it up with a spoon, let it cool down, fold it in a little bit, and we'll be right back. Cold beer, cold day. Hot kitchen, perfect. All right, so vegetables are done. Now I'm gonna do a sausage. This is three um, Johnsonville mild Italian sausages. I've removed the casing. I'm just gonna toss those in. I'm just gonna kind of break them up. We don't need the casing because it's being mixed in. So break them up a little bit with your wooden spoon. And then this is over medium heat. All right, so the meat is cooked. I drained some of the fat. I added the vegetables to the sausage so you can pick up that flavor. Now I'm gonna add a couple cloves of chopped garlic. So you know how I always say garlic cooks fast. So why did I add it now if I'm not done? Because, not everything needs to be done. So here are my favorite chili. Can you guess what it is? The Fresno. These are Fresno chilies, not red jalapenos. They are totally different. So red Fresnos come from, can you guess? Fresno, California. Nope. Just kidding. <laughs> Yes, they come from Fresno, California. I've always loved these chilies for the last like 10 plus years. So just kind of blend this a little bit. So we don't need any, the chilies don't have to cook. The garlic doesn't have to cook. They're just gonna kind of melt down the flavor. So we're gonna leave that sit for a minute while we prep the rest of the ingredients, which we have right over here. Here I have one egg slightly beaten and about four ounces of um, manchego cheese. To that I'm going to add some sour cream and the manchego cheese, I mean real manchego cheese. Mm. I made a goal to shred then snack. First time this ever happened. Sour cream, um, is that about half a cup? That's another dollop. Give that a whisk. Give it a salt. Some cracked black pepper, which I will use 
the manual grinder. So, to this, we're going to add our vegetable mixture. Oh my god, look how good that looks. The wife doesn't like anchovies. Like yes. So when I want pizza, I will order a pizza with anchovies all over. She won't have any, she won't have it, and then I'm in the doghouse the rest of my life. So I get anchovies on the side. Give this a toss. It just smells so freaking good. I mean, I just wish that I didn't have to wait an hour for the squash to, to cook. So, but that really does smell delicious. It's missing mushrooms, but that'll be my next one that for sure I won't have to share. If I don't want to share, I add mushrooms. If I don't want my wife to touch anything, I put it in the shed with the spiders. Right? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna assemble. So, um, first thing first. What time is it? Is it 8.05? It is now. <laughs> She actually laughed at that one. That was funny. All right, so a scoop of our little puree here. I was kind of like, why do we have to scoop it out to mash it to put it back in? I don't know. This is how things work out. Same thing when you do a stuffed butternut squash, twice baked potato. Actually, don't put a little more. This smells so good. The squash surprisingly smells so freaking good. It's a little sweet, yes. but it has the texture of a butternut squash. It's just really tasty. I think this I was surprised. Squash so far. She gave Annika a little scoop and she liked it. And she came back in and says, I want some more. <laughs> so that's when I had to give her more. And she goes, and broccoli, but I need the broccoli for my show. I want broccoli. Okay, yes, ma'am. They heard it. I know. You know, Annika gets whatever she asks me for. Like, I really can't say no to that woman. I don't know why. I know. She doesn't love me as much as she pretends not to. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, all but, day she asks for you. But when I leave in the morning. All right, fine. Okay, goodbye. Wait, wait. I have to give you... HPK. HPK is what we call hug, pat, and kiss. That's our little um, good morning, go away, or not good morning, uh, going to work kind of routine. So as you see, I'm doing another layer. When I'm, she cries for me all day long, where's daddy, I miss him. At least that's what my wife is telling me. Unless she's, you know, not telling the truth. Of course I'm telling the truth, I'm about to tell you. But when I get home, it's like, Hi, leave me alone. I'm busy. <laughs> Annika, can I have a hug and kiss? Hello? I just came home from work. No, I'm busy. Like, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I think she just forgets how annoying you are. How annoying she is. But the minute I sit on the couch, I become the human jungle gym. Yeah. Not just to her. <laughs> the minute you get in the bed, you become... <laughs> yeah, the minute I get in the bed, it's like, babe... Babe, I'm like, I'm tired. I have a headache. <laughs> too sad, too sad. Yeah, enough. One more layer each. All right, so we're going to continue layering the pumpkin or the, the smash and the meat mixture. We're going to keep layering, keep layering. We're going to top it off with some cheese. We'll be back in a few minutes. I need another beer, but I'm all out almost. Can you slow down? Dang! It's not a competition, like... 
Who are you trying to compete with? No one. But this whole bottle is going to go into my... But <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so layer after layer after layer. We end up with a small layer of the vegetable mixture on top. We're going to top it off with some manchego. So this is our manchego. This we found at... I want to say Food Max. That sound about Let right? Go. Let go. I think it was Food Max. So, just going to do a little shaving on top. Yes. So, something that I always do is add a salt on top. So, let's go see the salt store. Let's see. Shall we use Applewood, Cypress? Yeah. Hickory or cab? I think we should use a cab salt tonight. What do you think? Cab salt. Cab salt? So this is a Cabernet salt. So it's basically salt that's been try. smoked with Cabernet wine. Try. You want to try it a little bit? Yeah. Just a little bit. Do you like this one? Oh, that's a yes. So we're going to... I'm gonna give it a little sprinkle. Look how pretty that looks. I wanna like, see. Does that look pretty? Yeah. Smell it. <laughs> Smells like daddy when he's in the bathroom? Ew, come on. <laughs> Just kidding. So, on top of the pan, we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Basically, just everything just needs to heat through. Stop. And the cheese will melt. I make and we will be back. Oh my goodness. Air footsteps. Look how delicious that looks. You want to see how it looks? Yeah. Okay. Come on up. Oh. Can you smell it? Don't touch it. Smell it. Smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Should we paint up a small bowl? Let's get one of our white bowls and a spoon. Oh my goodness, it just smells divine. Like the wine grows on divine. Don't shake your head, no. Oh. This is hot. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. If they're a little thinner, I think I would like it a little more. So maybe you could use, I don't know, maybe a little cream. You know, it, it says to use sour cream. Um, from what I read online, a lot of people add sour cream and stuff to it. So maybe a cheesier cheese would be better instead of a parm or manchego, which is um, parm and cheese, they're hard cheeses. So maybe um, something a little more cheesier, like a soft cheese, like, I don't know, what? Um, cheddar? Mozzarella or cheddar or mozzarella. This is, oh my goodness. Mmm. Try. My I favorite bite right here. Try. That is I good. Want try. I want to try. I want to try. Here you go. Uh, Can you blow it? Blow it down a lot. Blow it. <laughs> Moogie. Moogie. Out. Okay. Try it. Yeah, that was not a real try. But that's a potential. The um oh my god, the cab salt adds a whole nother level. I don't think my wife is getting any of this. So but you know what? So this is a great way to use some of those um gourds and squashes you have sitting on your porch. This recipe will go great whether you use a pumpkin or a Hubbard squash. This is a blue Hubbard. 
Um, this recipe is so versatile. I think you can use this with almost any squash. All right. Cheers. Cooking while drunk. This, oh my God, this is so good. You gotta try this recipe. Make your own modifications. Put your own twist on it, whatever you wanna do. Click on the comment section. Tell me what you did. I'll be more glad to read them and like maybe I can give some points. Maybe I'll use your hints. Here, use your hints and I'll change my recipe. All right, you guys have a good night, good weekend. Peace, love, and bacon.